everything else seems to just be waiting to die. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Uh, Piggy, I don't think Kermie Jr. is doing so well. Kill me! I'm in constant pain! Just gonna stand there. That's so funny. <laughs> Um. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Flash Hazardous and we're in the middle of an update for Armory Beta Run with our favorite Breachy Boy. I see no reason why we don't just click on that continue game button and get right back to the Snow Depot where we ended up at the end of our last episode. We just went through the new set of Area 2 levels which... I've dubbed as Pyramid. And I think we've come out fairly strong. We have this Ion Ion Rail Accelerator. I think probably fully upgraded, not just yet. PS still needs to go. We've got the Industrial Breaching Cutter, which has redeemed itself this run after being an absolutely trash weapon in the earlier versions of the game. And I think what might be my new favorite gun, which is the 2Z. Very strong. Uh, we've got a couple of interesting attachments, although I do believe that ammo switch has stopped working. We can't flip between SB standard and man stopper like we could in the last run. I think there's quite a few issues around attachments working between rounds at the moment. So we're just gonna have to be patient with that as they work through it. I do believe a new patch for the beta is due to be dropped on Monday, or at least that's the initial indications from Shrike and Taro. So. With that all in mind, why don't we just get right back into the action here with a cheeky headshot right here. Oh, not dead? Well, the IBC is going to help for that, won't it? Okay. Let's get going. Remove some of the armor there. Look at how strong this is, lads. With all the mines as well. Get rid of him. I think we have the same issue again with the weapons, lads. I think we've got a problem here again. <clears throat> For some reason, in the first level of Area 2 on Pyramid, we we had this problem where we spawned in and none of the enemies had weapons. And this appears to be happening again. Interestingly, let's unjam that over there. Let's just see if that's the case. I'm going to try and move around and get it. So yeah, definitely. None of these enemies have weapons. Look at this. That's so interesting. I thought it was just a one-off bug, and it was an area two, but it doesn't appear to be the case. I think what we're going to do here quickly, lads, is we're going to we're going to quickly just get that ammo over there, and I think we're going to restart the level. It did end up fixing itself when we went between levels last time, so maybe that's going to be the condition that fixes this. But right now, a little disappointing that nobody seems to have weapons, lads. <laughs> Inflation truly has hit. LD and all of his uh, underlings really hard. No one can afford weapons. Just walking around patrolling. Look at this. This is so ridiculous. Oh, we did get hit there. Wait, that was interesting. So the sniper did seem to have a weapon. But everyone else doesn't. Look at this. There we go. Anyway. <clears throat> right. Medical terminal. Survival boost is good, but it is only limited to two charges. Uh, laser eye operation might be interesting. I think we can probably live with the degraded deviation if we get increased critical strike chance. And then the dodgy pills are always good with the increased speed. I think we're going to go with the laser eye operation, though. Improved deviation. Okay. Well, still positive, I guess, right? We're just going to 2Z all over the place here, lads. Uh, shotgunner doesn't have any shotgun. <laughs> a shotgunner with a shotgun is just a really clingy ex-girlfriend. I mean, look at this. Just can't get it away from the guy. Man, I, I do love meeting these guys. Yeah, die betrayer, but you can't really do much, can you guys? You can just kind of stare me down to death, right? Yeah, let's just get rid of them. 
Oh, wait. Is our bleeder attachment also not working? Is it? It's not? That's two attachments that aren't working. Bleeder and ammo switch seem to not be working. Probably electric recycler as well. Anyway. Anyway, that's a bit disappointing. That's, that's going to need to get fixed for sure. Okay. Let's keep going. And hopefully what happens is in the in the next level everything should be fixed man these guys are annoying i don't know why i reloaded that lads okay <clears throat> let's just try and run through this one fairly quickly it is really it is really fighting sitting ducks over here unfortunately yeah. okay right so let's just dance around this level gaily and freely since there's absolutely no threat to us maybe except for those snipers they seem to be the only ones that retain their weapon everything else seems to just be waiting to die <laughs> what is that <laughs> oh lads oh this is what happens boys this is what happens you can only afford the bottom half. Supply chain problems mean that these taser bots don't even have a top half to hit me with. It's just going to stand there. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, man. We are living in a, in a supply constrained society right now, lads. Let's see what we pick up over here. Taco Fusion Carbine. This is another interesting one. It says standard variant there. Let's see if it is a standard variant. No, it's not. The training variant. And it's got divine blessing. Ooh, this might be our replacement, lads. Increases effect power by 20%. Effect attachments. Is that all attachments? Oh, it'll be just for this one. Sorry, obviously. And then when standing still in combat for 0.75, increases recoil reset, 25% no ammo cost, and lasts two seconds. That's really interesting. I like Divine Blessing, though. Other weapon perks gain 100% power and increases our critical chance by 10%. Hmm. What would be good with that? Toosie's going to be insane with that. We do need to actually keep it, for sure. Toko's going to need to get kept. <clears throat> yeah, Divine Blessing is going to be great. Might even be worth keeping because of the item effect power as well. That should be 30%, right? If it's a 1 to 1 scaling, 20% times 150%. So that means even the attachments are going to be super strong. I think it's time that we said goodbye to our industrial breaching cutter here, lads. And we, we go with the Taco Fusion Carbine, I think. For sure. Let's do that. Yep. Okay. Play around with it. Gonna need to get something that helps us with the recoil on that weapon. Uh, I don't know why I used that there. And the 2Z does the job again. <clears throat> get some plating. Right, we got a... Got a compositor upgrade over here. I think we're going to go with the another breaching charge upgrade. See if we can't break breaching charges. Apparently, if you pick up a... Not one of these. There's a specific attachment you can put on that apparently breaks the breaching charges. <clears throat> I think we go with another temporal multiply on it. That's really cool. Let's do that. Man, these guys are tanking through everything now, aren't they? Yeah. Not as strong as the 2Z. I don't know if I'm going to actually keep the taco. Come to think of it now. Uh, Russian roulette all day, every day, lads. We live to gamble. Okay. I think that's most of the stuff on this level. <clears throat> Let's get ourselves some extra XP over here. There we go. Just use this as much as we can to get the unlocks for it. 
It really is weak, though. There we go. That is it down. We've already picked up from here. That guy's not going to do anything to us. This guy's not going to do anything to us. Yeah. Get that reloaded. We're just going to keep trying to pump this with experience at the moment while we can. Before we jump into the next set of levels where it's going to be a lot more serious than we are right now. Since, like I said, no threat this level, boys. No threat. I think we've been this way. Just keep moving. <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit disappointing how much damage the taco does though it's very low very very low okay another item box here let's see what we're gonna get it is another shield combobulator might be worthwhile picking up for double shields might not be might also not be i don't actually want to drop anything that i have as crazy as that sounds I mean, I'm not really using the mortar barrage either, which is uh, just a bit funny. Maybe it is a good idea to pick it up. Pick it up instead of the mortar barrage. It's not like I'm using it. Hmm. Hmm. And then I might even just end up recycling it again a bit later on for more money, because we are quite low on money for being so late in the game. I think we're going to do that. It's going to sound a bit crazy, but I don't think we're getting that much purchase out of the Mortar Barrage. We keep forgetting to use it, so we might as well just get rid of it, get all the money for it, pick up the Shield Combobulator and get some extra shields while we can. <clears throat> okay. It's a bit funny to me that the, the 2Z does so much more damage and the Taco Fusion Carbine. How much does this actually do? 225. Meant to do better shield and weak point damage in the 2Z. 100 and 200. Yeah, it's meant to be better. Probably just doesn't shoot nearly as fast enough, which is why it doesn't do the same damage. Okay. I think this is it. I think this level's done. Picked up some extra credits, which is really good. Some more over here as well. I don't think we can... No, we can't. We can't blink across a ravine. <clears throat> right, that's good. Let's move on. There's some ammo there, which is going to be welcome for the weapon since I have nothing in the taco. There we go. And let's get this reloaded while we can. Right. Moving on to the next level. Hopefully, hopefully, enemies with guns. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, this is going to be a real prance through to the last defender. And it looks like we have. We have got. We're good. Okay. So we have got weapons now. Enemies now with that. Oh, man. Look at that 2Z go, lads. Look at that beast of a weapon go. Okay. Let's try take some people out at range. Shall we? Oh, that's a pity. And that's all good. Really good. 2Z is just annihilating. Annihilating everything. Everything in its wake. There we go. Another one down. More upgrade kits we should use now since we are carrying a few too many upgrade kits. And we do have a new weapon in the Taco Fusion we can dump it into. What about these other? We haven't even upgraded the Ion, Ra Ion Rail Accelerator. That's crazy. Let's... Uh... Let's do let's do some upgrades for this one first, I think. Taped mags. Every second magazine has 60% increased reload speed. So this is definitely a new attachment. Higher powered ammo. Also contains higher powered ammo. Increasing critical damage by 50%. That seems good. That seems really good. An Omega laser repeater on critical hits. 50% chance to fire laser shot. High chance to ricochet. Looks like a legendary attachment. I do like the tape mags, though. I'll go with that. Let's do that. <clears throat> okay. Right. Let's get that reloaded. The 2Z does all the work we needed to. 
We do want to give ourselves a little bit of breathing room here so that we don't end up being backed up into a corner. These guys aren't shooting us for some reason. Uh, that must be a that must be a bug. Something must have happened again, lads. And look at how little damage this does. Why is it 175? Is it, oh, it's because of the armor. Must be because of the armor, right? Anyway, let's get the Tuzi out. And looks like we are getting the, the bleeder to work again. It wasn't working before. Does that mean we're close to leveling this one up? What does it even mean to get this up to the last level? There's nothing else we can unlock here, so I don't see the benefit. <clears throat> More ammo, always good. And... Oh, it'd be nice to hit something, lads. It'd be very nice to hit something. Does that have a weapon? I don't know. Uh, that does have a weapon. There we go. Another one. And more. Good stuff. Upgrade kits as well. Good. Can we get this upgraded? No, we can't. We're short by 50 to upgrade the taco. Um. No. At least that's shooting. This guy's going to be shooting too. There we go. We did take some health damage there, unfortunately. Yeah, now he's stunned. That should be enough to kill him. Good stuff. More plating. We are getting quite a lot of shields now because we got the double shield com combobulator going. <clears throat> Let's get the sniper rifle reloaded. Is this going to be the tape mag? How do I know what's the tape mag? How will we know what the tape mag is? I don't really know, actually. Okay. Maybe we should check between... So it's 1750 damage here. I don't know if it's going to be higher, if it's going to reflect us higher once we get the tape mag in. There we go. Okay. So, what do we have here? There we go. And that really does take way too long to get him killed. <clears throat> get that reloaded. Let's get this back up to full. We do need to find some ammo printing if we can for the 2Z. Because I think that pretty much will make the last fight trivial for us. So we need a tinkerer shop. Fingers crossed for that at some point in this run. We haven't seen that many of them. And it's been quite hard to come by them. Um, I'd say since, since Boost Plus, and since they started making other shops more available, like weapon and item shops, it's been a lot harder to get yourself a Tinkerer's shop. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Jamming, unfortunately. Let's get that killed. How far are we with upgrading here? Very close to getting the Divine upgrade, which is really the only reason we want this weapon. Oh! There we go. <clears throat> it does seem to eat ammunition for very little effect, unfortunately. Okay, so we... What did we end up getting there? I think we can now go ahead and upgrade another weapon. Let's go with... Uh, um, what are the other upgrades here? Anything else that's good? No, fusion focus might be good, but I don't know if we're going to get this weapon leveled up that high by the end of this run. And we're just going to keep pushing into the Ion Accelerator. I mean, the Taco Fusion is actually a reduction of 5% in damage, which is partially the reason why it's so weak, I think. So we are just trying to get it up one level so we can buff our 2Z and, and the Ion. There we go. Uh, let's get rid of all of those. And the terror level has gone up. Which is scary. There we go. Good stuff. Health back up. We're looking good. <clears throat> Got an ammo box down there. I mean, uh, health crate down there. Let's make sure we take out the sniper only. Yeah, No, we didn't get to do that, unfortunately. Ah! Almost got taken out over there, but we're good. 
Uh, let's go back to the taco. Get that reloaded. Get some more damage done. Because if we get a little bit more XP... There we go. XP done now. Now, now we have the Divine Blessing. So, Divine Blessing should be giving us 100% perk. 100% power on other perks, right? Does that mean... I mean, that should mean that we get... It's perks, sorry, not... Okay, so it's not on the variants, it's on the perks. So we should be getting extra critical hit chance. But it's still only showing at 150% power. So it's 300% here. Other weapon perks gain. Okay, so it's only for the taco. It is only for the taco. Yeah. Man, this is going to be crazy. It's a bit of a mad combination of, of attachments, if I'm being completely honest with you, lads. Let's keep trying to use... Let's see how... Because... <laughs> We've got 300% power on 20% effect power on attachments. So, what's that? Another 60% effect power on attachments? That means this should be fairly monstrous once we start putting some good stuff onto it. Let's see. Movement chance and critical hit. That's the only one that's really worthwhile, I think. Yeah. Let's keep going. I mean, that should be a fairly monstrous attachment, right? Let's see how that works. <clears throat> Leave that over there. The health crate. See what else we can find. Come on. There we go. I don't know what hit us there. Or, oh, is that maybe our... Yeah, that was our shield combobulator, unfortunately. That's what's hitting us. Yeah, well... Live by the combob, die by the combob, boys. <clears throat> See what we have down here. Yep. Getting some extra critical hits here, for sure. Very nice. Taco's starting to get some power. Okay. Really doesn't seem to do a lot of damage there, unfortunately. Uh, put that up for no reason whatsoever. <clears throat> okay, so here's our item shop over here. We can spend some money there. Okay. Get too close and you get some twosie. Right. Okay, nothing in the corner here. We can spend our money no now on uh, more items, I think, though. <clears throat> and we are going to do that. I think we're I think we're going to spend a little bit on mines as well. Like I said last time, a very nice spread of um, of items that we can boost. Very happy with the setup. The mines have been doing incredible work, so I don't see why we don't just lean into that a little bit more. Okay, what are we going to go with on... The fusion mines. Multicast, I just think, is going to be the best thing to go war go for here. Yeah, let's do that. Multicast is the way to go. Let's go with Orb of Lightning again. Yeah, Orb of Lightning seems good. 20% <clears throat> no charges and no cooldown. That's very good. I think we're going to go with that one. Might go with some flat power there as well. That wouldn't be bad. I think we're going to go with Unshackle Technology here. I mean, I don't want to risk it with another power randomization at this point. It's just too risky, isn't it? Yeah, let's go with Unshackle. And we got one four left. We can go with a Stun Mine and Fusion Super Booster upgrade. Let's do that. Fusion Super Booster. We don't need a double cast in it, but it would be nice to get a a reduction in cooldown, which we don't have. Oh, we do actually have a reduction in cooldown. I think that's what we're going to go with here. That works the best, I think. Yeah. 24 seconds on cooldown, and that means we can spend a little more on the stun mines. 
single lane, lane overdrive is going to end up busting this, isn't it? Or just giving us a lower cooldown for it. I think we need to multicast this one too. There we go. <clears throat> Very nice. No more money, but man, that was a spicy set of upgrades for the weapons, for the up, for the items that we have. So let's see how we how we get along now. Let's see here. Nice. The mines are really doing amazing work. 175. Is that enough for another upgrade? No, that's not, unfortunately. Oh. Let's just make sure that we don't die here. Get the fusey out. There we go. When in doubt, fusey them down. There we go. What do we have down here? Melee enforcers. Let's get another headshot over here. Man, it feels good to be able to take those melee enforcers out really quickly. There we go. Good stuff. <clears throat> mm, shotgun in here. Don't want to get stuck here. Ah, good. Uh, I don't know how I ended up getting myself stuck like that. That was so risky. Lucky I, I managed to sidestep the bullets. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Let's get that reloaded. And we should have enough for another upgrade. To oh, what the hell is hitting us? Sorry? Uh, game? Can you please <laughs> get out of menus? What the hell's going on there? Oh, that was another enemy. Okay. Madness score. 10% chance of enemy... I'm going to kill this guy. Where is he? There we go. Madness score. 10% chance enemy kills. Increases damage by 100%. Increases damage to shields by 50. Last 2 seconds. Wow. That's crazy, isn't it? Recall reset spread by 20%. Triples on kills for 1 second. I think we're going to go with the madness score here. For sure. Isn't that going to be nuts? We're going to have 300% effect power on our attachments. Is that going to be just absolutely bonkers? Oh, I can't wait to see how this <laughs> how this plays out, lads. This is going to be crazy. Uh, doesn't really appear to be doing that much. Not there, at least. And that should be at 300% effect power. Not actually. No, no, no. We still need to get the attachment link unlocked. Okay. Right. Okay, okay. Let's see how that goes. Still another... What is it? 50k short of that? 150k short of that? Another item box down here. Let's see what we're going to get. Because now you can finally see what you're getting before you drop your other items. I don't think Mavericks are that compelling. I think I'm going to stick with the Combobulators here. Let's do that. <clears throat> Another weapon box. Don't know what we're going to pick up here that's really going to help us out. Let's just see. Anyway. Harpoon. What do we have here? Chrome lined. Very nice. Aligned. Reduces deviation. 50% chance on hits to cause internal bleeding damage. And shots that slow. I think we're going to keep with uh, the ion accelerator. Or the long range here. More black market. I don't see any of those being something that I'm going to pay money for. So we're probably going to skip those altogether. <clears throat> okay. So one more area to explore. Further up here. I think I just missed. Yeah, just missed it. Go that way. And we can get the crate on the way back. The more ammo. Very good. And what are we going to do here? Get that down. There we go. Make sure we don't get too close to him. And we keep moving. Get some regen going over here. Get our taco back out. Get this reloaded. And I don't know why it doesn't shoot... Ah, it does shoot. Okay. 
odd how bad the Toka Fusion is at close range in terms of how much spread it's got on its on its uh, SMG firing, whereas something like the 2Z is incredibly accurate at range. Almost too accurate. Stimpak Threat Detector Fusion Super Booster. We'll skip all of those, I think. And I don't think we can... I don't think we can blink through this. Of course you can't. Of course you can't. All right, that's it. That's everything picked up. Got some plating as well. Get our healing back up to... Oh, medical upgrade. Okay. I don't think that's... I don't think that's particularly helpful. Because I can't see a situation where we're not at less than 20% without basically being dead. Right. Let's go. Onto the highway of hell, lads. Yeah. And let's go. <clears throat> Getting closer and closer to the LD with each step. Hopefully we get enough. So hopefully we unlock the Toco's attachment power with that second perk. And then on top of that, is this level slightly green now? Is it, it's a different hue to what it was before, for sure. This is not what the level usually looks like. Definitely got a strange greenish hue to it, where it used to be more of an orange palette to it. Yeah, it's a weird difference. Let's get these things destroyed. I got everything unlocked here, by the way. This is not unlocked yet, is it? Yeah, Pierce is unlocked. Okay. Uh get that killed with our taco. There we go. That should be close now. Very close. Yeah. Very close to being upgraded now. Oh my word, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, is this the tape mag now? Didn't see the damage number there. 2,053. Okay. There we go. New attachment. Okay. Now it should be doing some crazy damage, right? I only have one, one or two attachments on it though, so maybe not. Look at how strong the 2Z is. It's ridiculous. I don't even know why I'm wasting my time with the other things, guys. Come on. There we go. And if the madness core activated over there, I hope it did. Right. Get it this reloaded. Okay. Uh, let's get that thrown over there. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Okay. There we go. Another upgrade kit. Very close to upgrading the Taco again with another, what is it, 80% extra power attachment. Oh, these things are going to be hard to take out with such low ammo piercing. Damn it. I don't think we even can. I think we just walk past these things. It'll be a bit of a waste of bullets if we just keep shooting at them, isn't it? Let's see, just take out one of them. So, 2,082 damage, right? Why... Why am I... Okay. Hitting two enemies in one shot regains one shot in the magazine. But we weren't hitting two enemies there. Okay. I'm not going to complain. Oh, dear. Get that reloaded. <clears throat> wow, okay. Big damage there. Get that reloaded. Am I getting that killed? Ooh. Looking at me funny. Okay, I think that's fine. We don't need to kill all of these things here. I think it's just a bit of a waste of bullets in the end. Get the 2Z back up to full... <clears throat> everything else is 
pretty well reloaded at the point. So let's just move. Now the so this weapon crate we should be able to unlock with our key cards, right? We'll try that afterwards. I want to first clear this level out because I don't want to. I don't want to clown Fiesta at the end, lads. I really want to avoid that. Okay. I don't know why. Oh, this weapon is so terrible. What do we have? I feel like I'm investing in something that's utterly useless. I'm not even using the, the like, 2Z just because I'm trying to get the taco leveled up. And that just might be a, a flat-out mistake. What do we have? On active reload, which is what we're going to be doing a lot of on that weapon, apparently. Increase critical chance and heat. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, movement speed, movement accuracy, weapon cooling. Ah, oh, it's so strong, the critical forward assist. Although, so is the... I mean, this should give us a massive speed boost, right? If we took this. Especially with the way our attachments are on our... With the attachment link. And the divine blessing, right? So other weapon perks get 100% power. That translates into the effect power. And then that goes straight into our attachments, right? It's only 160%. Well, I guess so. That's exactly what it says it is, though, right? Yeah. But even that 160% is pretty strong, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that. Critical forward assist seems to be pretty darn good. <clears throat> oh, got shield drones at this stage is really funny. Let's not muck around here. Get the 2Z to fix those lads out, yeah. Get some more healing. <clears throat> get this reloaded. You can't get. Mines are doing such good work by keeping enemies away. Because every time we spawn those things, we can just keep backing away, backing away, backing away. And that just means they run into mines left, right, and center. Which pretty much end up doing the work for us. There we go. Get this reloaded. There we go. Another one down. We've got a lot of enemies now. Good stuff. <clears throat> Get that reloaded. And... Man, that, that armor is killer. There we go. But again, for a Toozie, Toozie gives no fucks. Zero fucks given by the Toozie. <clears throat> okay, upgrade kits. We've got some more of those. Hopefully we'll get enough for at least one more upgrade before the LD fight. Weirdly, again, all of the sound seems to have completely disappeared. So we've got a weapon... Um, got a health crate up there, which we might come back to. I just want to clear out this level while we still can. Okay, fine. Get that headshotted as well. Okay. Jammed, unjammed that. Get that reloaded. <clears throat> I feel like we've actually wasted... What's... What's critical... What, what went off critical over there? That's on. That's interesting. Something something activated with a critical success. Or is it the shield combobulator, maybe? Maybe. We're getting up to 2,000. Very close to 2,000 uh, total shields now. Get that out. Let's get away. Get that reloaded, and we should be fine. There we go. Doing some pretty decent critical hit chances there, once we actively reload it. <clears throat> okay, so we have... the health there, and we, we do have that crate down in the bottom corner, which we're going to go and take a look at now. 
Uh, uh. Right. Okay. I'm going to keep the 2Z out for this one because I don't trust what's coming out of that box. This is exactly the box that got us killed last time. So, not going to take any chances here, lads. Oh, uh, okay. Good. Yeah, key card was used there. Fine. Uh, I don't think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to keep the Thundercat. Lightweight variant. Movement speed and cooling. I don't think we're going to have time. I think it's a bit of a waste to try and get this weapon upgraded at the moment. I think we're just going to keep with the, the current setup that we've got. <clears throat> They changed the name of that. SG Thundercat. Yeah. This is the SG Lightning Shotgun, isn't it? Three magazine size? Yes, it is. They call it the Thundercat now. <laughs> I do like it when they give unique names to, to weapons in the game. I think that's a nice touch. That should pretty much be... I wouldn't say the norm, otherwise it, it becomes a bit forced, but things like that, having Thundercat against the name of a weapon, I think that's pretty cool. They should do they should do more unique weapon names. Uzi is just a brilliant name for a double Uzi. I remember when someone in chat, uh, in Discord chat, came up with that. It was pretty, I thought it was pretty brilliant. Okay. All right, what do we have here? Do we have too many enemies here? Let's get this thrown out over there. That should be good, and then we should be able to kill them. Ah, uh, gotta get away and just choose that down. Too risky. Too risky. Taking damage for no reason, really. Almost with another upgrade. The whole area has changed, though. Look at this. Like, this area is just completely broken down. This last part before Aldi. This never used to look this way. It used to be a lot cleaner. I, I like what they've done with the level. Looks really good. There we go. And Uzi really should be what we use for him. And we will. And that's done. Right. Another reload. Got a couple of enforcers there. A sniper. Got these guys in the middle. Hmm. How do we do this now? Get a sniper rifle out for this one. I think that's going to be our best bet. Oh, I should just hate it when that happens. We get the Uzi out. That goes down against the Tuzi, and then we deal with him with the Toko. Man, those stun mines, lads, are just stunning everything. It's brilliant. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we just drop more mines. <laughs> uh, that doesn't do that much damage against it, though. Okay, so what did it get? It's just a. Was it just an upgrade? There are no other perks though, so you can keep getting XP on weapons, but it doesn't seem to do anything. 1750 damage. 2087. So if we get get the ammo reloaded now, is this gonna be the taped one? I don't think it makes a difference. I don't see what the taped mag actually does. Higher powered ammo. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, Uzi will take care of it. Right? Because it's going to end up... Yeah. <laughs> end up chunking through the bleed. Level 6 on Uzi. To get the, the ammo region going. We didn't end up getting a Tinkerer, unfortunately. So, a bit disappointed there. Uh, I just want to get this... I just want to get this upgraded to the last fusion focus item, I think. That's all I really want. Get that reloaded. That would be nice to get to a higher level if we can. Almost there. Almost there. And I think we're right ahead of the fight, so we might even not get the last uh, fusion focus. Man, this would be so good. 25% no ammo, ammo cost. 
Okay. And what's the... Uh, owning four fusion tech items triples the effect. Okay. Is that giving us? Yes, it should be. Just farming for XP over here, actually. Seven, four, five, six, three. And there we go. Fusion focus. Let's see if that works now, right? Doesn't look like the... Like the effect's working, though. We're standing still, but we're not getting no ammo cost over here, because that's still just hitting. Yeah, it's a really disappointing weapon, actually. I thought it was going to be something special, but it's not. Let's get the 2 -Z. And reload it. Almost done. And boom. Be dead, surely. Yeah, and get a double shot here. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> More weapon parts. I think we're just going to sink that into the iron rail. I don't know what we're going to get on the taco that's going to be useful at this point. I mean, we're so invested in already. Might as well hope for the best here. Hmm. Bleeder might not be bad. On enemy armor deflection, increase shrapnel chance, ricochet chance, bounce chance. Passive increases armor by 15. Passive increases... Uh, is that our armor? That must be our own armor. What does it say on our... Oh, we can't even see on our character screen. I think we can go with the bleeder. Yeah, bleeder's the one. Might make the weapon a bit less useless then. I love how... <laughs> I love how everything over here is floating up in the sky. Did you see that, lads? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Okay, so we are at LD. Let's get our last few upgrades. We'll pick up on the ammo. We'll pick up on the health, which should us get, get us back to pretty much full. Not exactly full, but it's good enough. And we can spend some money on our last upgrade here. Hopefully on the breaching charges. Give us... Give us something good there. I don't think any of that's any good, unfortunately. Maybe Unshackled Technology is a good one. Yeah. Do that. <clears throat> and we're at LD. Fingers crossed. Let's see if we can take him out first time. We are going to get our shield combo. Is it? Yeah, it's at 30 stacks, unfortunately. That's going to hit us the moment we kill something. Anyway. Can't really do much about that. And here we go, lads. LD fight. Unless they've changed the levels again. And there we go. LD. We're getting passive ammo region as well for some reason. Let's get that reloaded. Get the ammo region going here. Okay. Field combobulators just hit us here. Okay, we're good again. Okay, let's wait for that to get better. Move across there. Fields are up. Oh. keep this doing this all day boys wait for that to reload oh is it back get this reloaded as well while we have the chance to
We should maybe try use some of these as well. Yeah, that works. Does that work? No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Okay, so is that another one of these guys coming for us? Yeah. Ah, uh, we've got to get away, got to get away. There we go. Man, that was lucky. Okay. More bleed, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Man, this is the longest LD fight in history, lads. <laughs> okay, let's get everything reloaded now while we can with the breather. Yeah, waiting. And should be it. Just wait for that to get reloaded. We can throw a couple more of these. Bleeding all the way down, lads. We're almost there. And LD is dead. There we go. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> no music, unfortunately. <laughs> I wonder why it's so soft. Wait, I just want to make sure we're not going to get killed by anything running around us over here. I think we did it, lads. So there you go. First run on, on Armory in the beta stream, and we got a win. Wasn't the most glamorous one. I got to say, it was uh, 2Z carrying us at the end over there. I don't, I don't think we're getting much out of our taco or out of our Iron Rail Accelerator. But it was good enough. Really, really good. Let me just see something here. So what do we end up with? Uh, I think it's all fine. And that's it, lads. Right, let's get on to that exit teleporter pad. And we are out of here. Brilliant. Oh, well, that's been the beta stream, boys. Look out for a patch in the beta stream sometime on Monday. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've really enjoyed playing this run. Very positive first impressions on the patch. Uh, I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, fixing a lot of the issues around the attachments between levels and just in general. Uh, lots of bugs, the, the no weapon bug. I don't know if that's just something that I'm experiencing, but that definitely needs to be fixed if, it, if others are seeing that too. But it's been a lot of fun playing this. Great weapons, great attachments. Uh, I love the way you can view further downfield now compared to what you used to before. So looking forward to seeing this going out on the live stream with some patches and fixes. Until then, lads, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave me a like. If you really liked it, drop me a subscribe. Otherwise, leave me a dislike. Let me know what I can do better in the comments. I've been Flash Hazardous. I'll see you sooner than you think. Until next time, Flash out.